Warm greetings. Today is Tuesday, May 20, 2025. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia speaking. In today's video, I'd like to talk about the possible development of the first cyclone of the hurricane season in the eastern Pacific, where the Climate Prediction Center and the National Hurricane Center have highlighted this area as having potential for cyclonic development over the coming weeks. If we begin by looking at the infrared satellite animation, we can see an area of disturbed weather located south of Michoacan and Guerrero, which is associated with a tropical wave that is formed in the eastern Pacific region. Additionally, over the next few days, some atmospheric changes are expected that will lead to more favorable conditions for cyclone formation. Remember that the hurricane season officially began on May 15. This morning, the National Hurricane Center marked the area south of Mexico with a low probability of cyclonic development over the next seven days, which at the time of recording this video remains at 20%. It is very likely that this development probability will continue increasing over the next few days, due to the strong consensus among weather models suggesting that the first tropical depression of the season will likely form, and possibly Tropical Storm Alvin. Furthermore, NOAA's Climate Prediction Center has been publishing its medium and long-range forecasts. As you can see, they have also highlighted the region with a medium probability of cyclonic development between May 28 and June 3. Additionally, in the long range, between June 4 and June 10, They've marked the area with a low probability of development. This indicates that the start of the eastern Pacific hurricane season appears to be quite active. So, what are the factors promoting cyclone formation this early in the season in this region? First, take a look at sea surface temperatures. West of Central America and south of Mexico, ocean temperatures are extremely warm, with some areas exceeding 30 degrees Celsius. This is precisely the region where a tropical cyclone could form. However, once it crosses the 105 degrees west longitude, it will encounter much cooler waters. So any cyclone that forms in this area will very likely have a short lifespan. In addition to very warm sea surface temperatures in the region, projections also indicate that a high-pressure system, anticyclone, will be establishing itself just south of Mexico. This could provide good upper-level ventilation and help reduce wind shear across the area, as shown in the forecast from the American model. Notice that by May 28, the model projects a region influenced by an anticyclone, which should create very favorable conditions for the possible formation of the first cyclone of this hurricane season. According to the official list of storm names for this year, the first name is Alvin. So, if a tropical storm forms, it would be named Tropical Storm Alvin. Now let's look at the forecasts from the top global models. Starting with the American model, the GFS, by Wednesday, May 28, it's already showing what may be a tropical depression forming south of Guerrero and Michoacan. The European model's forecast also agrees, placing the system a bit farther west, but still showing the development of a low-pressure system, possibly a tropical depression, in about seven days. We also have the German model's forecast, which shows a tropical storm developing well south of Michoacan and Guerrero by the middle of next week. So we're seeing a fair amount of agreement among the top global models. Additionally, we have the American model ensemble, where many members are projecting the development of one or two cyclones over the next 10 days. Most of these ensemble members generally suggest that if a cyclone forms in this area, it will likely move toward the west-northwest. With a bit of luck, it will remain away from the Mexican coastline. However, this is still very preliminary since it's a long-range forecast, and much can change. Also, the European model ensemble shows that the vast majority of its members are forecasting the development of a tropical storm, or perhaps even a hurricane, forming to the southwest of Mexico. And unlike the American model, some of these members do bring this potential cyclone closer to the western and southern coasts of Mexico. This is why it's important for residents in southern Mexico, including the states of Oaxaca, Guerrero, Mihuacan, Colima, and Jalisco, to stay updated with the latest forecasts. For now, over the next seven days, some heavy downpours are expected to develop in parts of western El Salvador, Honduras, southern Guatemala, and across much of the states of Chiapas, Oaxaca, Guerrero, Mihuacan, Colima, Mexico, Puebla, and Morelos. The models are projecting rainfall totals between 100 to 150 millimeters, 4 to 6 inches, over the next 7 days. Well, that's all for this forecast. Before I go, I'd like to invite you to give this video a like, and click the red button to subscribe to the channel. Also, hit the bell so you'll get notifications whenever I upload new videos. With that, I'll sign off. See you in the next video. Take care.